Hello, good morning. It's Eliza Bloom Robinson here, stopping in live with Eliza. Yes, today I'm in the car. I don't do that very often, but here we are. And today is another day on the uh, book tour, the Falling into Ease book tour. Some people laugh at me. Some people crack up at me at the way that we're doing that. So we're, we're making it up. We're making it up every day as we go along. I never set out to kind of do a book tour. I just sort of said, wow, wow, we're actually on a book tour. So today I am in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today, in just a few minutes here, I'm going to be speaking to the uh, National Association of Women Business Owners, the NABO, in Scottsdale. So I was invited to do this uh, many months ago, and today is the day, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. So the book tour, of course, Falling into Ease. Oops, I got my big... Uh, uh, galley print, the big G on there. That's the one I seem to use. I need to grab another one. But I was thinking about this, um, well, all the time. So what I've been doing, which is a really great way to use the book, is just opening the page and just seeing what pops off. So when I opened the page a little bit earlier this morning before I got in the car, I opened to um, this paragraph. We live on the planet at a very opportune time. For the existence of humanity, we've lived in the world of separation. Humanity had to separate from the whole in order to experience itself. Then we forgot that separation was the illusion, was the play that we were acting in, and we began to believe it. Right now, we have the opportunity to wake up to wake up from the dream of illusion of separation and remember oneness. We do that through love. Isn't that perfect for today? Isn't that perfect for this week, for this month, for this time on the planet? We do that through love. We do that by awakening again and again and again to our wholeness, releasing and transcending all else. We do it by consciously choosing to believe in love and wholeness, even with the evidence of fear, lack, and separation, even with the evidence of fear, lack, and separation. This happens to be in the chapter called Why We Were on the Planet, Why We Are on the Planet. But I want to talk about what that love is for a moment. That love is is not glossing over, not making pretty, not saying get on board and unite, not saying anything different than what is. That love is accepting every moment. Not accepting that the world's falling apart, but accepting your experience of what's going on. It's embracing all of the emotion, all of the, the stress and the struggle and the, and the fight and the fear, embracing all of it. And then in the midst of all of that, dropping deep within because it's an internal connection dropping deep within and finding that place of love. And then from that place, standing up and taking action. So when we talk about love in this context, it is actually that which empowers us. It is actually that which um, causes us, uh, supports us in standing up and taking action. It is also that which, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives us full permission to experience all that we're experiencing. You know, there's a lot of emotion going on on the planet right now. There's a lot of fear and, you know, rightfully so, sort of. I'm not going to tell anybody not to feel fear, but what I am going to tell you is find that place within you. Find that place within you, that core, that connection to that which is greater than you. We call it source or creation or God or spirit or love. Find that place. And in that place, feel all of your emotion. Look and see and tell the truth about what's going on within you. And then stand up strong and empowered to take action. We as women are called to be together. We're called, not to the exclusion of men, of course, but we're called to be together. We're called to stand together, united, and to witness what's happening on the planet. Birth is never easy. Well, very seldom easy. There is labor pains. There is 
um, it's messy. What if we're birthing a new way of being? What if this pain and this fear and this anger and this hate that we're experiencing on the planet is simply coming up to be expressed, to be revealed, really even to be healed? And what we find in the core of it is a deeper love, a love that is the very foundation of the universe. It's the very foundation of who we are to be. Well, who we are, who we are. And then from that place, we be that love. We take a stand for one another. We take a stand for our environment. We take a stand for love. For love is what will surpass everything unlike it. Hey, Kira, nice to see you. Mwah. That was just for you, Kira. And everybody else who's watching, too. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. That, that love will win. And that we are primed. We're at exactly the right moment in humanity. To be the ones and so I'm off to uh, share some insights from my book falling into ease to the uh, Scottsdale Nabo group and uh, thrilled to be here and thrilled to see you so please uh, come on over and join the group falling into ease falling into ease join the group and you'll get lots lots lot more of support and ideas and acceptance and all of that stuff so come on over and join the group it's uh, Search the Groups Falling Into Ease in Facebook. Okay, that's it for now. See you later. Bye-bye.